Sirens, Envy Born Games, 1 to 2 players, 10 to 15 minutes, ages 12 and up. In the face of an ominous Kraken's appearance, the ship was driven to make a perilous decision, venturing without caution into a secluded cove. It's time to harness the power of your captivating singing skills to enthrall the sailors. Will your melodic prowess reign supreme, overpowering your rival's song, or will the entranced sailors succumb to the alluring melodies of rival sirens? So that is Siren. What it's about, let's look inside. Let's open this up. We have a competitive rule book and the solo rule book. So let's look at the competitive one until the text gets upside down. Then we'll flip it over and look at the other one. I will say we did back all three of the Envy Born games. If you haven't seen yet, we have done the unboxings and what does it all do for all three games this week. So you can look back. I'll make sure to include links down below. I am saying that to let you know we do have a couple of special bits that I will show you. So this is the developer note. Also, these are QR codes. They have an app that once you arrange the cards, will play the melody for you. So we are out to the upside down text. So let's flip this bad boy over and look at the solo rules. And there are the solo of rules. Alright, so speaking of those special bits, we have these three little soldier, or uh, yeah, I think soldier, sailor, sailor, soldier, soldier, however you want to call them. But these are basically what you win each round. First to two wins the game. You then have your little scoring cubes to score each round. And then we have the cards. So we will show here these little foil cards were the other thing we got. They just replaced these other cards, which are basically your player aids. This is the solo card. And now you have your playing cards. So they have a color here. The color is also donated here. Musical symbols, a symbol down here which relates to the beginning of a round. As I said, I'll show you what that is. This is what color it wants to be followed, its part to be followed by. And then these, you want to try and match up on the edges. I believe they were called charms. And then you have, that one didn't have it, you have hearts. That determines who scores first. Then here is the scorecard, and this tells you what all those symbols mean in relation to how they affect the round. So that is it for the components. Let's get into that how to play. All right, we are set up for a round of sirens. This game's going to play over two to three rounds, depending on if when someone gets to winning their second sailor. So you're going to shuffle the deck. You are going to reveal a universal rule, which is you're going to flip over the top card. You're going to look at the yellow symbol below, and then you're going to look up here to see what it dictates. So this one says you're going to leave cards face down when passed to. The last keep is blind. Then everyone is going to get four cards. One, two, three, and four. They are going to look at them and they're going to draft one of them. They'll then pass the other cards to the other player. So we'll just go like that. And then they'll take that and send us these two back. And we'll just take, what do we grab? We grab that one, we'll grab this. Pass them those two. And then because of this, we are going to keep this random one. They're gonna keep that one. These get discarded to the top of the stack. We then are going to build our route. So from these three cards that we took, we are going to put them down in front of us in an order, however we want. So we will actually go like this. And they'll do the same. I'm just going to randomly lay them out 
like so. We then give this a quick shuffle, see as we know what those top two cards are. And then each person gets four cards again. And we repeat, grabbing a card, passing them over, grabbing a card, passing them over, and we'll just do a blind one because I'm not fully playing the game. Then we are going to look at these three cards and we are going to build our progression. We are going to attach these three cards to our root. The root has to stay here though, but we can put cards at the beginning or at the end, however we like. So in this instance, we're going to go with the red, or down there, that one there, and that one right there. After we do that, we are going to score the song and capture the sailor. So first thing we are going to do to score is we are going to determine the total number of hearts of each player. So let's just kind of throw theirs face up so we can see their hearts. So they have one, two, three. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have more hearts. So that gives us three points because it's the difference in hearts. So we will score our song first. We are then going to score our musical parts. A part is considered groups of the same color. You need at least three to score for the parts. Parts you are going to score determined by its size and it's going to multiply its size by itself. So basically squaring. So in this instance I have two green. So that's two times two is four. I have two purple because I'm going to be using this as a red. So that is four more. This is just one and one, so one point each. After that, we are going to check our flow. So each color wants to be followed by another color. So you're going to look at the end of each part. So this green part wants a purple at the end, which we did. Purple wants a red. We said this was red. So then once this becomes red, you're going to look at your sheet, and red wants to be followed by yellow. So it's followed by yellow. So if you follow, if you follow by one, you get one point. If you follow a second one, that's worth two points, so we're at three. And then a third one is worth three, so that is six more points. If we had a fourth one, then, all, then four flows would be worth ten points. After that, we are going to look to see if we accomplished any charms. We did. We have both halves together, and this is worth two points. So we are at twenty-one. Our opponent would then score theirs. If they get more than us, they would get the Sailor. If we got more than them, we would get the Sailor. In the normal game, what it is is you take this card, the Universal Rule card, flip it over, you have a Sailor which gives you an additional heart in the future rounds. You then collect up all the cards, shuffle them up, and then play another round until someone has won their second Sailor. Again, I mentioned the app. What happens with the app is if you have it, you can just line your cards up in a grid, scan it, and then it'll play the song for you. The one thing I did not mention, you did see the one wild card I had with the sun. This one, if you can get the sun and the moon in the same part together, you get an additional three points. So again, a race to two sailors to win the game. Hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, share, and ring the bell for this channel, this video, because then you can be notified as we do more of these What Does It All Do. You can also look back and see the previous two games in this series on the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.